You're very welcome back. My name is Maurice Devlin. I work in the National University of Ireland, Maynooth, but I'm also uh, privileged to be a member of the board of Belong To. And I've been involved, it's not the first uh, uh, LGBT organization I've been involved in. Uh, 30 years ago, in fact, I was a council member of what was then called the NGF, the National Gay Federation. No L, no B, uh, certainly no T. Uh, and also at that time, I was working as a youth officer for the, what was then called Corla Lilas Oiga, an Irish phrase meaning the Council for the Welfare of Youth. Uh, that organization is now called the City of Dublin Youth Service Board. And just by chance, I was responsible for that area of Dublin within which the NGF uh, existed, the National Gay Federation. And it had a youth group. And one of my duties uh, as youth officer for the uh, city centre was to assess the eligibility of the youth group for membership of, uh, for affiliation to the youth service. And of course, as a gay man and as a council member of the NGF, I had to declare my interest to my employers in case uh, anyone could judge me to have had a conflict of interest. And that was fine. Everybody in the organization uh, thought the, the youth group was excellent and it was affiliated and received a grant from the state, the first such public funding of uh, such a group in the country. But all hell broke loose. It was front page news and a number of politicians at the time who were involved in uh, the Vocational Education Committee, which oversee the youth service, said that if they'd known about it, uh, it would never have happened. And at the next available opportunity, the uh, youth group was disaffiliated. So we have come a long way in the intervening years. Uh, thankfully, the organization subsequently uh, decided to support uh, work with LGBT young people again, and now actively does so. Uh, but at the time, it was highly contentious. And it's a sign of how much has changed, that here we are today with this conference as an associated presidency event of the uh, EU presidency, with the active support very active support and involvement of the Department of Children and Youth Affairs, which, as Michael said earlier, is uh, uh, something uh, for which they deserve great credit, and also with the presence and active involvement of the European Commission. So it's a great pleasure for me to be here to chair this session uh, on this historic occasion, I think it's fair to say. The theme of the session is the TRIO presidency and LGBT young people. And I think everybody knows, but just in case you don't, the trio refers to the rolling uh, cycle of presidencies of the EU, which at any time consists of three uh, countries, three member states, the current president, the previous one, and the future one. Sorry, the, the current and the, and the next two. Uh, and so, no, am I right? The, the, the way I put it the first time was right, yeah. And so that is reflected in the uh, membership of this panel. And we have a very interesting lineup. Uh, all of the countries represented here have been, have featured in contributions and discussions already in one way or another. And so it'll be interesting to hear from uh, our panel members, from George Sharonis, from uh, Color Youth Greece and Iglio, from Andy Mannion and Amy Ahern, peer educators with Belong To, and from Tomas Vitotis Raskovicius, who's a project assistant with the Lithuanian Gay League. And I'll need to sit down now, having pronounced those names. 